Elijah the prophet was taken up bodily to heaven in a whirlwind. He didn't have a natural death, it was a rapture. The coming rapture of the followers of Christ is deliverance from God's wrath. The number of deliverance is 50. In the story of Elijah's rapture, the number 50 is mentioned 13 times. 13 means rebellion and apostasy. In Elijah's story, we see that Moab rebelled. Right now, we see apostasy in the church and rebellion against God. In the parable of the ten virgins of Matthew 25, 50% of them were raptured and the other half were left behind. Division is also mentioned in Matthew 24, where Jesus talks of pairs of people. In each case, they were working side by side. One is raptured and the other left. Division comes up in the story of Elijah. After his taking up, Elisha tore his clothes in two. The Jordan River was divided for him to cross back over. Elijah and Elisha were separated by a chariot of fire before his departure. Elijah is taken and Elisha is left. Division is occurring as the faithful exit the apostate church. Staying in an apostate church probably means you are lukewarm for Jesus. In Elijah's life story, the number 42 comes up. It is the length of time of a drought which lasted 42 months. This is the same number of months that the Antichrist rules. 42 is mentioned in Elisha's story also, when God has 42 bullies killed by bears. It seems they had been bothering him for some time. This could represent the bullying going on in the church right now, just before the rapture. See Matthew 24, verses 48 and 49. For details on Elijah and Elisha, read 1 Kings chapter 18 and 2 Kings chapters 1 and 2. Now in the story of Queen Esther, we see a hint of Israel's future deliverance from the Antichrist, and possibly a little rapture reference. As you may know, the story of Esther initiated the Jewish feast of Purim. It is named after the lots, or Pur, cast by the villain of the story, Haman. As he schemed the genocide of the Jews, he failed. The Jews were delivered. Haman was hang, hung on a 50 cubit gallows, and 50 means deliverance. Haman was an antichrist type. Purim is celebrated in the month of Adar from the 13th to the 15th. Adding these dates together totals 42. When God showed Ezekiel that the whole house of Israel would live and be saved, yet to come, it was on the 15th of Adar. Haman's plan of genocide resulted in his own death, as will a future Magog war on Israel will result in their deaths. See Ezekiel 38 and 39. After Elijah's taking up, we see those left behind, searching for him for three days. Esther fasted and prayed for three days. God is a triune God and he is sovereign over the events on earth. God will deliver Israel at the end of the tribulation. They will recognize their Messiah. Jesus warned his followers to be ready and watching for the rapture. He will come first to take his bride away and secondly to save Israel after the seven year tribulation. Before Esther became queen, she had to prepare herself. This should prompt Christians to prepare for our coming king.